Love the 80s? Fan of vampires? Then you're in for a real treat. Now let's talk about 1985's Fright Night. Fright Night is a pretty simple movie and it's a lot of fun. So a young horror fan named Charlie catches his neighbors getting up to suspicious acts and discovers that Jerry Danders is a vampire who preys on local women. Charlie makes it his mission to put an end to the murderous bloodsucker and after a failed attempt to get the cops involved, Dandridge makes it his mission to toy with and put an end to him. This leads to Charlie reaching out to Peter Vincent, an actor who portrays a vampire hunter in movies. He fails, so his friends get involved and after they drag Peter into this, he and Charlie end up having to fight together to put an end to Dandridge. This is just 80s Dracula, and oh boy is the 80s shit present in this. From the outfits, the settings, the killer soundtrack, this reminded me of Night of the Creeps with just how 80s it felt, which is just a lot of fun. Moving on to the characters, I thought Charlie was a good protagonist. His girlfriend Amy, or X, or whatever the hell they are, she was good enough. She was really nothing special. However, she still had some pretty good moments, like the dancing with Dandridge. And as for the good guys, the ones who were kids anyway, there's also Evil, the weird little friend of Charlie and Amy's. He was okay. You can definitely tell this is a kid who isn't all that popular, and like Amy, he had some pretty good scenes too, like his death. Not to say, like, he sucked and it's great that he died. His death was just really cool. There was some sick wolf body horror shit. As for adults, there's really only two worth mentioning. There's Peter Vincent, the old seemingly washed up actor who's brought in to fight the vampires. I thought he was great. And then there's Dandridge. As someone who isn't that big of a fan of vampires, I had a lot of fun watching Dandridge do all this cool stalkery shit with his victims. And when he got violent, it was pretty fun. He also has this henchman, this weird guy who might have been a monster or something too. He was fine, I guess, but ultimately he's just the henchman. His character is on the same level of importance as Charlie's mom, who was only in a few scenes. The effects are pretty cool too. I saw some images from the remakes, and man, there's some ugly CGI shit. Here, as to be expected, everything is done practically. And so shit like the vampire makeup or special effects like people melting or werewolf transformations looked really sick. In the end, I'd rate 1985's Fright Night an 8 out of 10. It's a must-see 80s horror flick. If you've seen this movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Looking for more horror fun? You're goddamn right. Then check out the VHS comic book series, a parody of the horror genre that follows the lives of three teens as they fight to survive a horror movie, where every day is loaded with blood, boobs, and buds. The first two issues can be found in the description below. I was obsessed with VHS.